this is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is the pulse test unit. It's got two plates in it, about six inches wide by 12 inches. If you've been following along, this is the same stand that had all the trouble with the seal on the bottom. What I did is I put aquarium cement on the bottom to seal the tube, and it's cured for about four days. I didn't want to have to do that because I like the idea of a regular seal there, but I don't have a professional cut on the bottom of this, and I could not make a proper seal. So this one's got the aquarium cement on the bottom. In the last video, I had trouble because of the screw that holds the plate caddy in was not sealed, and I put plumber's goop, G-O-O-P, on that. We'll see if it works. Seems to be. This is the unit that I'm putting in place of the 3LR1000. This does not take its place, but only on the test bench. The reason I'm using this is it's, it's very, very easy to see what's going on inside. And I'm using a clear plastic tube. I have not tested this tube for heat. So we'll see what goes on with it. Also, it's, it's a very thin piece. There's another problem. I'm not sure whether I can get a decent seal. It seems like it's working right now. As you can see, the two plates are sitting in a, a plate caddy that's anchored on the bottom. Eventually, what I will have is four plates in this system. And I'm finally pouring the last amount of water in here. This is tap water. Actually, I need one more. There we go. This is supporting a lot of weight. And if it's going to leak, it should leak now. It's a lot of pressure down there. Seems that we're okay. You can see the two number 10 gauge wires hooked to it. I'm using the same electrode arrangement in here where the two stainless steel screws go through it. The water seems to be holding, the pressure is holding, and what I'm going to do is hook it up to a 12-volt battery with a charger on it, and we'll see how she works. This is the first test on this pulse cell. I'll just be performing a few tests on it while I'm working on the electronics. I have no idea how this is going to work. This is only two cells. It's spaced less than an eighth of an inch. As you can see, we've started in just a moment. Warm up and we'll see what we've got. Remember, there's only two cells, but the amount of area is 6 by 12, about 6 by 12. We're only running at 5 amps.
and you can see the voltage on the battery is very low and what I'm going to do now is hook up the charger circuit to it to bring it up to about 14 volts. So far everything is holding. All this test is to do is to see that the water temperature and everything does not exceed the limits of the tube. Hook up the charger. Should go up to about 14. And as you can see, we're producing hydrogen. Actually, it's hydrogen oxygen. The amount of voltage has not increased the amperage that much. Notice there's almost no bubbles on the outside plates. It's all coming from between it. And you can see the amount of hydrogen and oxygen there forming. Whenever you see